Hi, I'm Jesse Davis. I'm a staff engineer at MongoDB. I work on Python and C here. And we did a Skunk Works last week, a three-day super casual uh, kind of a hackathon. And I want to show you what I made for Skunk Works. So I made three things last week. I finished up this mock wire protocol server called MockupDB in Python. And I connected it to a test deployment server called uh, Mongo Orchestration, and together I called the two things Mongo Conduction. And the final thing I did was I started to make a proof of concept of a C driver test runner that I could use to test the C driver using our standard uh, deployment integration tests. So I'm going to show you a little background about why this is necessary and why it's good and then I'm going to give you a demo of these three things working together. So, in the beginning, all 10 of our different drivers that are written in Java and JavaScript and C and C++ and C Sharp and Python and Ruby, they all had their own test suites for testing against a live MongoDB deployment. And therefore, we all needed our custom scripts for setting up those deployments. So we each wrote a set of scripts that could set up sharded clusters, standalones, replica sets, and we would tell those scripts to set us up a uh, deployment for testing against. Then we would connect the driver to the deployment and run our tests. So you can already see the problem here, which is that um, since our different scripts have different capabilities, that means that we each test a different subset of all possible deployments and all possible scenarios. So some of us might test SSL better, some of us might test failovers and timeouts better. So first of all, we all needed to have the same deployment capabilities and we needed to get rid of our custom scripts and replace them with a standard thing. So Luke Lovett created Mongo Orchestration. And with Mongo Orchestration, you just send HTTP JSON requests to this server, and it sets up your test deployment. And it's a lot easier to write um, a little client that can send JSON to orchestration rather than creating a um, whole set of deployment scripts yourself. So this is great. This means that we all have the same testing capabilities, but it doesn't mean that we actually all uh, run the same tests. So in order to do that, we needed a standard set of tests. And Emily Stolfo is working on writing standard tests using YAML, which is a simple markup language. So the YAML tests replace our individual idiosyncratic test suites with a set of standard test specifications. And now what we each need to do is write a YAML reader that reads the test steps, sends Mongo orchestration operations to orchestration, and then runs the test specification with a driver that's connected to the deployment that orchestration has set up. So then we'll all run the same set of tests against the same set of deployments. So this is really great, but not all drivers like to talk JSON over HTTP. In particular, the C driver doesn't have an HTTP client in the standard library, the way Python and Ruby and many languages do. So we needed some other way to connect the C driver to orchestration. And that's what MockupDB is for. So MockupDB is a wire protocol server. And the C driver doesn't necessarily like to talk HTTP, but it does like to talk wire protocol. So MockupDB acts like a MongoDB server, and it can read the client's wire protocol messages and send wire protocol responses. So I used MockupDB, and I fronted Mongo orchestration using MockupDB. And I called the whole package conduction because it does orchestration 
but it transmits the orchestration information over the wire protocol. Uh, and then finally, I wrote a proof of concept C uh, standard test runner that talks wire protocol to conduction and uses the C driver to run the standardized test suite against the deployment that it's set up with conduction. So this is a lot of uh, moving parts. To clarify, the parts that I wrote over the three-day uh, hackathon last week were I finished up mockup DB and I connected it to orchestration and I called the whole thing conduction. And then I started the C uh, driver test suite that runs the standard integration tests by talking to conduction. So now I can give you a uh, live demo of these things all working together. So the first thing is to show you how conduction works. It's a Python script and it takes a config file that tells it where to find MongoDB servers. So it starts up and it listens on port 27017 the same way any wire protocol server does by default. And that means that we can just connect to it with a standard Mongo shell. And it says hello from conduction. And you can say, you know, build info. And it replies, I'm conduction. And that's not very interesting. But you can also say, uh, hey conduction, give me a server. So you post to the server's URL. And the body of your post is a preset name. So, so I say, uh, start up a server using the preset.json configuration, or the basic.json configuration, and give it a particular ID so I know where to find it. So it starts up, and uh, conduction here, this is its log output, it records the wire protocol message that it received, which was the post to servers with this body. And while this looks like a JSON over HTTP API, what it actually is is a BSON over wire protocol API, but it's RESTful in the same way that the HTTP API was. So conduction gives this big reply with all sorts of information, and you can see it printed out more nicely here in the shell, and that includes the URI. It says, here's the server that I started for you. So we can connect to it on that port, and there it is. And we can also use conduction to shut down the server by saying delete the URI that you set up for me. So I delete, it says OK1. Over here it logs. Uh, you told me to delete something, so I said OK over here. And if I try to connect to the same server again on port 1025, you can see that conduction has correctly shut it down. So the next step is to read the YAML file that expresses the standard test suite and then run the C driver through its paces executing the standard test. So I've got one of these standard test files loaded up here in CLion, which is a um, very cool IDE that's in beta from JetBrains. So the YAML file has a description of the test. It's a sharded cluster test. It's going to restart a Mongo S. So it's got an initial config, starts up sharded cluster with two Mongo S's, and it's going to connect a client to the sharded cluster by passing these two hosts in its URI. After that, we're going to do a Mongo orchestration operation, which is to stop the server at the URL Mongo S A. Then we're going to restart it, and then we're going to assert that the client can do a find one operation successfully. So I wrote a C script 
that can read this YAML file and execute the steps. So the first phase of it is to connect to conduction. So that is over here. And the conduction URI, let's start up the debugger here. It's simply the MongoDB that's running on the standard host and port, right? You don't need to do anything special to connect to conduction because it looks like a MongoDB server. So you just connect a Mongo client to it and that succeeds. So you get a database. Conduction doesn't care what database name you use, so I use test. And now you've got a handle to something that the C driver can actually execute commands against. So the first command it's going to execute is, it's going to tell Conduction, set up my initial config. So we'll continue the debugger until we hit that point. And here we run the conduction command, which is to post the initial configuration. And that will succeed. We see that conduction here has received the post to sharded clusters, and it's replied with a ton of information. And we can see as well, if we do pgrep Mongo S, that we've got now two process IDs for Mongo S's. So we've set up the initial configuration correctly. So the next step in the YAML test is to connect a client to the Mongo S's. So let's continue the debugger until we reach that point. So that's here. Conduction gave us a URI with the two port numbers, 27 and 28. And we can connect a regular client to that port the same as we would connect to anything else. So the next step is to run the test phases. So these are Mongo orchestration operations. And the first one is to post to Mongo SA and tell it to stop. So we can do that here. We posted to conduction and conduction logs. You told me to stop Mongo SA and I said, okay, I've stopped it. And if we now do a pgrep for Mongo S, you'll see that there's only one still running. And the next Mongo orchestration operation in the test spec is to restart the Mongo S. So we can run up until that point. And conduction logs, you told me to restart the Mongo S. And so I restarted it. And now there is a new process ID for the Mongo S that's been restarted. And after this, I didn't get around to implementing it yet, but you would do a find one with the client and assert that that succeeded. The final step is to clean up after ourselves by destroying the configuration that we set up. So we get the URI to the deployment that we told Conduction to set up for us. It's sharded clusters and the ID's integration tests. We're going to format a delete command and send it to Conduction over the wire protocol. And Conduction logs, you told me to delete this thing. And so I deleted it and there are no more Mongo S's. So this is pretty cool because it lets me deal with the fact that C does not naturally talk HTTP because it doesn't have an HTTP client in the standard library, but the C driver can talk wire protocol, so we can use that to talk to orchestration and to orchestrate the deployments that we need in order to run our tests. And I'll conclude by showing you 
mockup db. It's a Python package. Um, I haven't posted it to PyPy yet, but there's a uh, documentation on readthedocs.org. If you check out the tutorial, there are a lot of really neat examples of how mockup db can be used to um, send and receive all sorts of wire protocol messages. And Conduction also has its own uh, documentation page. And here I tell you how to um, run these basic commands and how to configure it. So that's what I did for Skunkworks, and I hope that you enjoyed hearing about it. Thanks a lot.